Hey everybody, it is your favorite hero from Heroes Evolve, Moon Life from Ski Gakure. I hope you've been enjoying the live streams where we're playing a different game because Heroes Evolve doesn't really fix its issues. So I'm looking at different games and trying them out. I've had a ton of fun and it's great playing different games with you guys. Today, however, we are playing as Lapina, a great ADR in Heroes Evolve. Now, I'm showing you this hero picking, not that. It has anything special, but it might be fun to check it out once in a while. So what we're going up against is Burninator. I think the strongest tank, but luckily we have a tank of ourselves called Grom. We have an OP Terrible. hero, in my opinion, which is Paige. And Solace is not really necessary here. What we could use Need is durable. another uh, durable hero or an assassin. And I'm actually thinking that this guy is not selecting at all. So let's see. Oh, he's actually changing. Well, Venom is not any good, so that didn't solve anything for us. The enemies, however, have a really decent team. They have Lubu, which is a great assassin with a huge stun. Odin can also really benefit from that. Then they have Burninator, Damacus, and Stiletto. Stiletto, the best ADR in the game because Bonnie is not really usable. So otherwise, Bonnie would be best, but because she cannot be used because she gets banned every single time and heroes evolve doesn't adjust her so she will continue to be banned stiletto is basically the best adr in the game now i'm curious to see what we can do against this team i have a lot of faith in this but it might be difficult so you never know by the way if you're not subscribed to the channel already make sure that you do i have some fun pl plans for in the future and also make sure to hit the like button on this video because it helps me out a lot it gets the channel known across the realms across the other villages we are the village hidden, hidden under the moon but there might be other villages trying to counter us out there so make sure you sub make sure you like and make sure that you enjoy this gameplay here we go always trying to see if the enemies are ganking I pick my first skill because we can then dash over walls. We might actually have our first victim here. Unlucky because Grom missed that hook. But the minions were coming in as well. So it was kind of a difficult shot. That's definitely... And I'm kind of, you know, trying to trash talk these enemies so that they will actually come and fight us. And it seems like our bait has worked, but our teammates are not responding on it. And I am losing more and more HP. Unfortunate there. Let's try and get on his nerves so we can maybe get our first kill. With these difficult scoring systems off, Heroes Evolved. With these difficult scoring systems off, Heroes Evolved, where you get low points when you win, lose a ton when you lose, everything is allowed. And there we go, first blood, let's go guys. Now, let's see, can we get this? Still no luck. Oh, he's actually walked out of his tower, but nice, we just jumped in time. We did get stunned, however. Can we get our stun off? Nice predict there, we got another kill, and that is two kills in... One and a half minutes, that's a great start to this game. I'm already liking it. Oops, let's try and be careful. He ran again. Odin is not letting himself be bugged and I'm actually quite happy about that. Because he wouldn't be up this high. Oh, nice stun. With Lapina, by the way, you only stun the enemies when they are in the middle of your second skill, the AoE. Otherwise, it's just damage, no stun, and it has to be very precise. Let's see if we can help out our top lane. They didn't actually ask for backup, but they kind of need it. And what I really love about Lapina is the following. Your second and your third skill have some control abilities. They slow and they stun. Uh, the second skill stuns. Oh my god, we got that? Let's tank them. Oh, nice stuff. Ooh, that's a lovely play. Anyways, my second skill can stun as I told before and my third can actually will actually slow the enemies down and all of that increases with physical damage so you don't have to build any magical damage then on top of that we can also use our first skill to get out of tricky situations so Lapina is one of the most mobile heroes and the, she even has AoEs as an ADR 
Ooh, that was kind of nasty. We almost got hit by that. Did you get anything? Nope. Just to predict by me. I'm placing these down. If enemies are attacking, they will get slowed there. And that is also a key strategy from Lapina. Place your ultimate where you think the team fight is going to be. Or where you think that enemies are going to run when they are low HP. So you can actually get a sneaky enemies kill. Or you can immediately catch the enemies by surprise, off guard. And be ahead in the team fight. So now we're hopping back on the mid lane. Maybe we can save our teammates. I'm not sure. But it will be interesting to see. No team fight going down right now. Venom is in a lot of trouble, it seems, in the top lane. He actually got the kill on Odin. He died himself, but luckily he got the kill. Oh, nice grab by Grom. Good stuff. That was a great one. The, the, I actually think that the range of Grom is a little bit too much. You don't expect it to go that far. But, well, you won't hear me complain about it now because we actually got a lot out of that. I always like to push a dragon early. So if you're playing against me, do not use that against me, please. But the dragon can early, it can really shift the battle in your favor. Of course, now we already are 5 to 1, so we are already ahead. But I mean, 350 gold for every member of the team, that's huge. It's basically an additional wave that you clear, but for the entire team. So, great way to get ahead. We missed our second skill there. A little bit unfortunate, but it can be helped. The death buff is actually a good one for Grom as well. Also, here is Evolve, if you're watching this, um, I think we need some more uh, buffs in the jungle. Like one for defense, one for gold, or actually separate them. One for gold and one for defense, attack and speed. Like the three of them together and the gold one as a separate one. So both teams actually can get the gold. And securing the gold can be a lot trickier in the early game. Because you actually need to secure both buffs and the enemy team might gank one, but you do not know which one. Let me focus. Yeah, I got so many good ideas for this game, but I don't think they're really taking advice from us or fixing anything right now. Ouch, we gotta get out of that. Oh, he walked into our traps. As I told you before, they are dealing so much damage. Luckily for him, he got away though. Nice, it should be a kill. Yeah, we're chasing these kills. I've learned to be a little bit more aggressive with my ADRs. So if I think we're going to hit that kill, if I, I kind of know how much damage I'm dealing at every point, so if I think that we're going to get it, I will try and take them down. Because getting them out of the rotation, not getting any eco, can also potentially give us a victory. So you gotta take every single thing, except for the toxicity that I did in the beginning of the video, don't mind me though. You gotta use everything you got to your advantage. And that starts by picking the right teammates for your team. Both these teams are very well balanced. I actually think that their team was a little bit better than ours, but still, both teams have enough crowd control, have enough stuns, damage. Both teams are very balanced, and Burninator is actually a great tank to play. So if you get the chance, make sure to check them out, as we just casually get to a double kill there. Well done, well done. And that's the tower. This game is actually looking quite straightforward. But don't go anywhere, guys. Check this video out Welcome until back. the end because we need to get this victory. And your help, your love on the video will always give me positive vibes. Nice, we actually got that. Okay, so we're winning in the ADR battle against Stiletto, which is... Oh my Welcome god, she took that health box. We're winning in the ADR battle against Stiletto and that is a huge feat because Stiletto... Oh my god, what is he doing in our jungle? Grom, save me! Daddy! Oh, uh, thank you so much. What was he doing there though? Oh my god, I was actually surprised. Oof. I gotta calm myself down. Oh, I think to forget what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, we beat Stiletto and that is quite a huge feat because Stiletto actually has the additional critical chance and damage. The additional damage on his first skill, an additional attack on his ultimate. Stiletto is a great and strong hero. We actually don't even have to do anything here. We just got frozen, that's it. Hippity hoppity is my property. Who stole my carrot though? 
Great hero. Lapina is a great hero. Stiletto is stronger, but the crowd control on this one is, is huge. I'm just placing these because I think that a team fight might occur here. He's coming in. He got hit by one of our bunny stunners and he is dead. He gets hit by another one. Look at that HP go down and that should be a kill. Yeah, we did it. Nice one. Nice one. Guys, I'm so excited. This game is going so well and I mean... I don't even know what to say. It's going great. Yay, let's <laughs> hmm. Okay, so now we gotta find the opening to get into their tower range and push for a final time. Ouch. That might have been. Oh my god, they did half HP for all of us. The damage is so strong. We gotta be careful about that. Let me try and farm a bit. Stiletto is still going all out. Ballsy moves. I don't even think I have to help, but in case, he should have this. Nice job. Let's, let's farm a bit of eco then. My teammates are actually going off as well. It's, it's difficult because if the enemies pick up on the fact that me and Venom are here, they know that the ADR is missing and they might go in the four of them together because Stiletto was missing. So always try and keep your eyes on that. If you see enemies moving to a different lane, that might be the attack to go 5 versus 3 against the enemies. Even if you're behind, that could be a great moment to initiate your fight. Of course, use the attack button on the right to make your teammates know the fact you're doing that. Oh, the dragon is a little bit pesky today. But place like that, oh my god, are you kidding me actually? You stupid dragon! You're way too strong for us. Uh, Grom is actually taking the buff, notifying me that I should come and take it, but that's fine. I want to push up these lanes as quickly as I can, and now could be a good moment to go for Zakar, but the enemies are here as well. Uh, it might be a bit tricky. Let's go help our teammates out. That might be the best choice. Zakar will be there tomorrow. Let's not rush things. It's unlikely that the enemies are going to push him, and we also have a ward there. Oh my god, this is going so great. Oh no! Oh no! We fell for that? No, the entire team is dead! Dude! No way! Don't mess with Damacus. Dude, that guy is so strong, it's ridiculous. We got stunned and then Damacus comboed off of that and just got everyone Your tower has been holy destroyed. shit that's crazy Your guys we are, we might destroyed. lose this nine one and three and we look at the map do you they're pushing our main tower as well no way they got destroyed. that so the entire match <laughs> look at this they are pushing all the towers right now they didn't have a single tower and now they got five that means that they all got just got a thousand extra gold. My teammates are kind of equal to the enemies, and I'm I'm ahead. But I can't believe we fell for that. Okay, let's focus. Let please, careful. Please do not take the car right now. Please don't tell me they have it. Okay. Oh my god, they could have turned the entire thing around if they would have gotten that. Oh, I'm shook. I am shook. Okay, they're going for it now. This might be the best moment for us. Gotta avoid the aggro from Sakaar. Um, I might be able to push it though. I'm dealing a ton of damage. Look at that. 300 per strike and after 4 stacks. Look at that. 600 almost. Look at that. 600. Dude, look at how strong we are. I'm actually dashing back so Grom takes the aggro. And I will have additional attack speed. Look at that. Just like that. 300 per strike. With that attack speed. We almost could have soloed that. Crazy stuff going on. Okay. Page is in trouble. Grom is actually going towards the mid lane. And the enemies are there as well. I've got to cross this wall. Do not get stunned by Bernie. I'm actually laying back a little bit. So they fight. And then I come in and take all the kills. Help my team push to the victory. Odin coming from the side. She missed that stun though. 
It's terrible. Oh my god, stiletto. For real. Everybody falling back right now. Um, this stiletto, I, I, well, I don't hate them, but I, I just don't like players like this. It's like they're playing Wolf Ramp or Sam Wukong, and you can just solo the tower because you guys are team fighting. And that's the only reason that, that happens is because of a lack of warding in the jungle and the lanes. Otherwise, we would have seen him coming and did something before. Chase him down if you can. Okay, let's not fall for the same trick again. No, I, we cannot go here. I expect Damacus' ultimate. Where? He's dead. He's dead. Guys, I just heard. This isn't just in. He's dead, actually. Never mind. Never mind. But we walked the same way. I was hesitant to go there. But holy shit, we, we won this, right? Guys, everybody, make sure to sub to the channel. Make sure to join the live streams. Make sure to like the video. And I will see you guys on the next video. This is me, Moon. I'm signing out. Peace out. It was your favorite hero from Heroes Evolve. I love all of you guys. Each and every one. See you on the very next episode. Peace out.